Well, here we go again. This guy says Jesus is God. He says so himself in Revelations 21, 7. Okay, so the claim is that Jesus himself proclaimed himself God in Revelations 21, 7. Okay, let's take a look at Revelation and who wrote it. The book of Revelation was collected in the year 96, almost a hundred years after the time that Jesus even existed. It was written by someone called John the Elder, or John of Patmos. He never met Jesus. He was never living in the time of Jesus. And since this John Elder wrote a book that is included in the Revelation, it's only fair that I ask a couple of questions. Can you, the one that really believes this, um, tell me anything about your family 100 years ago? A name, a surname, where they were born, where they died, uh, an occupation, much less write an entire book about somebody in your family that existed 100 years ago. You probably couldn't, which makes it even more harder to believe that this person, John the Elder or John of Patmos, could write about somebody that he never met in his life. I mean, honestly, writing an entire book. My advice to the Christian people that watch this video Really go through all of your books and see who the author is. I just want to make one small point. What if somebody wrote about you 100 years into the future? This person wrote about your life, about things that you said, yet they existed 100 years after you and they never even met you. That's kind of weird. That's my whole point. There are Christians out there that are saying, well, John the Elder and John the Disciple are the same people, but even Christian theologians disagree about this. But let's say that it was the disciple of Jesus, alayhi salam. Why did it take him 96 years to compile and write this book? I mean, something as monumental as the teachings of Jesus has to be put out there ASAP to guide the people. Why wait 96 years? This is why Christian theologians disagree and are in doubt.